right. Welcome to Terminal 2. So, I've uh, just come through security. They've changed the security system now. Um, don't need to take anything out of your bags. You just take your jacket off, throw everything in the box that they provide and it scans through, which makes life so much easier. I've never been through security as quick as that. So this is Terminal 2. I don't know if it's the same in Terminal 1 and uh, Terminal 3. But I have your attention. Please help to reduce the number of security alerts by keeping your luggage with you at all times. Yeah, so much better way of doing it. I don't know if they've... I know they were changing the rules for um, the uh, liquid that you're going to be able to spring in more than four uh, 100 millilitres. I don't know if they've changed that already, but it's all changed since I was hit last in Terminal 2. So. This looks more familiar. So as you get in, you've got the currency exchange just on your left. And you've got a coffee here. What's really good here, there's some nice places to sit. And then you have WH Smith. Now it is uh, four o'clock in the morning. That's why it is so quiet. They actually have charging points. See these chairs in front? They actually have charging points. So, the seats don't look very comfortable. You've got the other cushion ones there, but they have no chargers. World Duty Free. So I'm heading to Aspire Lounge which should have opened at four o'clock. So it should be open. Oh, lots of seating area compared to before. So I'm assuming the lounge is going to be brand new as well. Get your earphones, electronics here. Fifty pounds off. Ninety-nine pounds. Right. Gate two o one two o eleven. Smell the food. More places to eat. Inspire a lounge. Right. Well. Alright, 
so welcome to Aspire Lounge. Right, so this is the Aspire Lounge. I checked in to the lounge at 4am when it opened and when you check in, then every lounge that I've ever been to, they normally say you can stay a maximum of two to three hours. This one has a three hour max limit. But um, I left at 9am, uh, so I was there for five hours. Uh, nobody came up to me and said your three hours is up. Um, the staff saw me sat there for, for all that time and nobody came up to me and told me to leave. So if you are going to stay at a lounge, uh, don't worry about them throwing you out after three hours. Um, I've stayed in lounges over six hours without anyone coming over to uh, throw me out. As you can tell, uh, by uh, nine o'clock the lounge got completely uh, full, uh, but the staff here was very good. They tried to accommodate everybody. They walked around and uh, found seats for people. So uh, well worth staying in a lounge if you have a long uh, stay before your next flight. Um, stay as you sitting around in the airport and uh, spending too much in the uh, overpriced shops there. <laughs> 